Hey, I'm Lindsey Thomas with the National Deer Association, and I'm checking out a swamp chestnut oak tree. Uh, swamp chestnut oak is in the white oak family, produces a very large acorn that's very attractive to whitetails. It's one of my favorite trees to grow. Of course, as deer hunters, we all know deer love acorns, and so over the years, many people have tried to figure out a way to make oak trees produce more or more attractive acorns for deer. One of the beliefs that has arisen is that you can fertilize oak trees and that will do the trick. But nobody had really tested that question to see if it was true until a few years ago when the University of Tennessee began a multi-year study. Dr. Craig Harper and several of his graduate students over the years looked at a group of white oaks and they tried several different techniques to get them to produce more acorns. In their study, they had four different groups they put oaks in. In one group, they did crown release. What that is is simply removing competing and crowding trees around an oak tree to give it room to grow a bigger crown, more limbs and more branches. A second group they fertilized to a soil test like you would do with a food plot. A third group they did crown release and fertilizer. And then a fourth group was their control. These were oak trees that were not manipulated or changed in any way just to see how they did in comparison. The results of the study were clear in the crown release group, those oak trees grew bigger crowns by about 25% greater in size, and acorn production increased 50 to 65% in those trees. In the trees that were only fertilized, there was 0% increase in acorn production. In the trees that received crown release and fertilizer, the increase was similar to the trees that only received crown release. So the lesson was pretty clear, giving a tree more room to grow is the best way to increase acorn production. Now, of course, some people believe that fertilizing an oak tree somehow makes the acorn sweeter or more attractive to whitetails. The University of Tennessee also tested that question. They compared the acorns of the trees that they had fertilized with those that they had not. They found no difference. No difference in size, no difference in the carbohydrate levels, which would be sugars, which would of course make anything sweeter if these acorns were gonna be sweeter, but they saw no difference. No difference in protein levels, fat levels, mineral content, several different aspects that they measured and compared, no difference. Fertilizing did not change the size, the quantity, or the quality of acorns in this study. So the lesson is pretty clear. Put your fertilizer on your food plots where it can do some good. And instead with your oak trees, give them room to grow. Simply give them room to expand their crown size, grow more limbs and more branches, and you'll get greater acorn production.